So the front porch is on, on Belvin. Welcome to the uh, November 13th, 2017 Architecture and Historic Review Board meeting. We have the um, short agenda tonight. Um, first up is 29 Osceola Avenue, please. Do we have uh, a neighbor, or we have the uh, public? I'm sorry, you are. Yeah, you, that's, that's the same. Okay. I don't. I didn't feel I had to go through it all again. No, no you, you don't. Know. I think the drawing. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, Thank you. 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 Section 1C5 of the declaration states no deck or similar structure shall be constructed above the grade or off the ground in any way on the exterior of the public residence. So, RZ Country Club's concern is above the garage area that constitutes a deck or similar structure. They're concerned that this will affect privacy when people are playing golf. And if people are congregating out there, the noise can travel to the golf club as well. And the second concern is the plan that we saw. Um, we just couldn't tell if anything had changed with the site plan, so we just asked for board to make sure nothing's changed out with the site plan without going through the site plan approval process for an amendment. Okay, thank you. Thank you. If you, if you would stay just for a moment, I have a question or two. Sure. The last hearing, I don't believe you were present, but we had um, uh, the uh, property owner who who uh, next door neighbor who uh, who was the one that subdivided and sold off the lot of Mr. Lockhart. Mr. Lockhart. Oh, here. Uh, hi. Um, may, I, I thought that he, this was addressed in a pretty straightforward way by Mr. Lockhart, which was about the intention of that portion um, of the restriction uh, about it being a, a type of rear yard deck. That's elevated, uh, you know, a kind of platform type deck, uh, the type that we see very often, um, and and this is, and, and you know, th those are often serve the back of a house well, um, but are not the most attractive kind of outdoor space, um, and and that I think that made a lot of sense to us because this house is really seen on all sides. The street facade is what most of us see, and and but the club sees this whole other part of the house, and so so it's important, and it has been for us that the house be consistently uh, well detailed, front, side, and back, which is not always the same approach that we have. Sometimes we give a little leeway at the back of the house, <clears throat> um, and this seems to have addressed that. However. Um, and, and so, if, if, if is the concern, um, is it, you still have this concern, or, or some neighbors still have this concern, or rather, the club you're here representing the club. Yeah. Uh, the club still has concerns that this is a quote unquote deck, and or similar type of structure. No, uh, I don't think it's a similar type of structure. I, I think that what uh, 
Michael just said is, is what the, I, I guess the, the spirit of what is written is not about a terrace, which this is a terrace, it's not a deck. A de you know, the, the, the difference between a terrace and a deck is that a deck or a balcony or that type of structure they don't have anything under, don't have it used. In this case, it's a terrace. I know I don't think it's a similar structure to a deck. Yeah, because the, the and, and I and I just want to make sure that I understand this right. My what I what I believe I heard at the last hearing was that it, it's it's an aesthetic question, not a program question. And so, if it's one of of a visual of a deck, well, I think it's been addressed. If it's one of a use of a deck, well, then it's a. It, of course, it's a bit of an issue, and we, we, we can talk about it tonight. I'm Therese Alfaro. I live on 8 Osceola Avenue, and um, I was intricately involved with the declarations that you have mm -hmm. in front of you. And the intent of that was not only height and visual, <coughs> but also how it affects a use. Um, so from a privacy standpoint, People could be on that deck overlooking the front tee. There could, they could be having a barbecue there. They could be having a little party. And that could be um, a noise issue and a privacy issue for the golf course. So the intent of that was not only... I assure you that's not intentional. Okay. So the intent was not only from a vision standpoint, but also from the use of privacy and privacy standpoint. Okay, thank you. May I ask a question? Yes, please. Um, so I do appreciate the concern of privacy on the key. Uh, the previous design actually had a balcony off the front uh, of the master bedroom, which would have also had that same uh, concern. Um, what I will point out is this is off the master bedroom, the master bathroom. I, I don't think it's a location where people are going to be having a barbecue. They're not going to bring all your guests up to your master bedroom to get to this terrace. So I think it's more uh, in the morning, go out, have a cup of coffee before you get ready for the day kind of location. If this was off of a family room, or off of, a, off of the living room or the kitchen, I, I fully understand that concern. I'll also say that this is set, set back, the house itself is set back from the non disturbance zone, and because this is up top of the garage, it's set even farther back from that area. So I, I do believe um, uh, Mr. Austrian has made a, a, an attempt to limit that amount of disturbance that would say the, the, it really is about the intent and my recollection of those discussions were it's about the use of the property not about whether the deck is attractive or not or whether the similar structure is attractive or not. It was non-disturbance to keep the activities of the, the house on the ground level not elevated. Thank you. Also? Sure, if you would like to yes, please sure. use the mic. ultimately use them for are two entirely different things. So while you're saying it's off the master be uh, be bedroom, I will tell you I have seen houses with this situation where people will go up there and hang out and drink and have music and it doesn't matter how you get to it, it's that it's there and it can be used. So and the intent was to keep all activities on the ground mm -hmm. and not Okay, thank you. I have, a, I have a pretty simple solution that I'd like to propose to you, um, which, which I think uh, could resolve this pretty, pretty easily. Um, uh, why don't you replace those two doors with two sets of windows? 
Um, and the reason I say that is, look, I mean, can people climb out of windows? Yes. Is it easy to take a tray with drinks out? Not very. And so I think that the house, uh, I think particularly that garage structure is well served by the railing. I think it looks more attractive. I think it would be funny without it. Um, and uh, so I, I think it's a, I think it's an integral part of tying the house together. Um, however, if, if we can resolve this uh, use question with the uh, somewhat of a restriction on the windows door opening, then I think we can all walk away relatively satisfied with this. I just want to add that uh, in front of us is also use and aesthetics. And aesthetics, I support what Michael just said. The house looks better with the way it's presented. So uh, in terms of use, we can discuss, we can limit the access to the roof. Maybe we can, we don't have to do the entire surface of the roof accessible. Uh, you can just a portion of it, I don't know, but that's not an issue, an aesthetic issue. It's an issue of, a restrictive issue of use that's... I'd like to make a proposition to the board to come out with the house again. Um, oh, wait a minute, I just made one to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I would I like, would like to hear your I response. Let's well, play short time, I want to make a comment. Um, my name is Doug Austrian, I'm the owner of the property from Norman Corporations, and, you know, it seems like right now we need a real opine of what the gap is in the entire system. So I did research, and I'm an American Webster Dictionary, and this is the, by definition a terrace. Although I understand the purview of this board and what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do, you've done a great job in helping guide me to find a great architect to help enhance the plans that originally came to you two houses ago. I'd like to continue with this. I'm not in objection to sealing off those entries and putting windows there now, but what I propose to do is to put a header that could access a sliding door as drawn on the plans and let the ZBA make the decision if this is a deck, if this is in the covenants and restrictions. But I think at this point in time, if we like the house and you're asking me to change the windows, yes, I'll agree to put the windows in for now. You know, and, and this way, you know, I can start because I think it benefits the club and I think it benefits the whole village to get the foundation in and to get the heavy construction done during the winter time so we're not disturbing the people with the 17 year all summer long. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of benefits to it, but to... I, I, you can put in any, you could put in a header if you want, I, but if you come back to this board with doors, I'm going to, we're going to reject it because wow. we're, because our agreement right now is that we're, we're agreeing to make a compromise with the neighbors with the change from a door to a window, and I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not just doing this to, to, to shut them up and get them out of here, I'm doing this because I think it's a legitimate compromise. And if you're going to come back here in two, three months and with a different proposition, I'm... I, but it's a compromise that's, you know, economically affecting me. I mean, look, I've spent many, and it's not... You can have a great house, it's in a great location. I don't think you're going to have a person walk away from a... From a, from a sale because it, uh, it's a window instead of a door. I, I mean, I, and, 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 and this is, you, you don't always get what you what you want when you come to this board, but it, we... we uh, no, I understand that. And I, you know, honestly, in all the pain this, sometimes the board helps a lot, and sometimes they go a little bit beyond what they're supposed to do, but you guys get the job done, and I appreciate it. You volunteers for our village, and you're here, I love what you do, and you make a great chairman. But I'm just asking that the board recognize the fact that you know, it is a concern of mine, and that I'd like to continue with the process, put the windows in for now, and let's get a determination from the CBA regarding it, and if they opt to discuss it further, I would come back to you, because aesthetically, I think, because but, uh, but Mrs. Shaw, we've, we've done a great job. You, you, you can't go to the ZB. What are you appealing? I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're what you're appealing. We're, we're, we're offering to approve the house with the change of two doors to two windows. What, what exactly would you take to the ZBA? Well, because basically, you're not allowing me to do it. I mean, um, I don't know. It's sort of because we're toying back and forth with the idea. Is it a deck? Is it intended to be the house that we're going to have? I'm not going to do it. Is it intended to be the house that we're going to have? I don't have that confusion. Would Actually, it's, it's quite clear to me. Do you, do you think it's a deck? Or a it deck? is a deck. It's a deck. Mm -hmm. you think it's a deck. But you were saying before it wasn't. It's not the deck that was described by Mr. Lockhart. It's not, and I heard from the other neighbors, also people who were also part of that. And I think now that we've heard the full story from all the people who were involved, there's different opinions. It's a it's a questionable designation, and and it doesn't. You can call it a deck. You can call it a terrace. The fact is, 
What matters is that it's not a part of the programmed use of the house. That, that was true. part of what's the issue. So, so, it, so right. deck, terrace, what difference does it make? I'm telling you that if you change the two windows, we can move on. And if Just as a point, though, the covenant says nothing about disturbance or activity. It just says no deck. So to say... I, I, I started this with a very simple question. Will you change the doors to windows, I yes or no? I just that point, though, that I think we're totally willing to do the windows. However, uh, it, it, I do believe it is within my client's rights to, to, to have doors there because the covenant does not specifically... It's, it specifically says deck. This is not a deck. This is a terrace. And it does not say anything about disturbance. I understand intent, but as you know, we could argue intent. It's all hearsay. So I do believe we'd be fine with changing it to windows. I just wanted to make that point so it's on the record because I do think my client is being continually pushed to do something when he has made great effort to keep the house, you know, make it beautiful, keep it out of the disturbance zone. There's going to be kids. I, I, I want to I wanna add an, another comment to, in support of the, uh, the, uh, the in support of what is present, being presented to us. A window to a deck will look, or deck or terrace or whatever you want to call it, will look funny. I think the proportions of the, the elevation, the way it's presented is correct. So what we're talking now is about trying to read from a sentence of a declaration that this is about use, and I don't read it in the sentence. I read it as a, as a limitation of a deck of a similar structure, which, in my opinion, is not. Neither. It's not a deck or nor a similar structure. That's like what I read from this, this um, half a sentence. So I'm not sure that I'm, I'm against uh, or I am for to uh, changing these sliding doors or the doors now, patio door that you have to, uh, to a window. That's my. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Larry Taylor, the list trustee. Um, just one observation, sort of above and beyond the decisions that this board makes. Uh, I think in consultation with the building department, that it's going to be important that the village is comfortable from a legal standpoint that either the covenant is abided by or that there's reason that it's not. Which, that which exceeds our purview. Pardon me? Which exceeds our purview. Right, it's, 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 there's a legal issue behind all mm -hmm. of this, which is maybe just a check the box issue or whatever this board decides. But uh, Dan, as you and I talked about, this is just a box the village has to check to make sure we're not gonna get in the middle of something. Right, I was gonna ask the zoning board uh, for the next meeting if it's, uh, the difference between a deck and a terrace so they can make a decision on what it what it is. It, 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 it's equivocal. I mean, I'm similar structure off the ground. Yeah, it's as, or similar structure off the ground. I mean, it, it's equivocal. I'm just all I want to do tonight is find some some place where everyone is in a sort of happy compromise. <clears throat> and if you that's why I proposed what I did. If if you're unwilling to do that, just say so. If you're willing to do it and that makes it, and that works for the club, then I think we have a solution that that everyone's happy with. And it's not perfect for everyone, but it it, it, it works for us. Kevin Lockhart, um, twenty-five Osceola. And just for the record, again, on the agenda, it shouldn't say the property owned by Kevin Mary Lockhart because it's not. Um, it's twenty-nine Osceola. So I mean, just to make sure the record is uh, is correct. Um, so the, actually, it's interesting where we've gotten to because um, we're now actually.
terms of the use and privacy to the tee box, that's why I was asked to push the house all the way as close to my house as it possibly could be, away from the tee box, and we legally gave up a whole section between the tee box and the driveway that's a non-disturbance area. So the people that buy this house cannot actually, they can't put a swing set, they can't set a little, a nice little set of chairs out there or anything, they can't, it's a non-disturbance area. There's not that many properties that actually give up that legal right to use. And we did that exactly to address the club's concerns around privacy and non-disturbance. At some point, when I'm out playing my music in my backyard at my pool, that's only one house distance away from that terrace. Um, you know, at some point, and I'm a member of the club too, so yes, I, I would love the club to be completely silent when I play golf. But the reality is it's surrounded by, by houses and a neighborhood. It's a neighborhood golf course. Um, so that piece, um, you know, so I, so I did what was necessary and what the club was asking for in terms of a non-disturbance area. At some point, the house actually has to be used. And that's where I think <coughs> that we're now mixing this, this deck concept was not about disturbance, it was about structure. And hence the word deck or similar structure. So interpreting that is up to either you or the zoning board, but I'm just giving you the background. And in terms of the plan itself, I'm very much in support of it, by the way. Um, you know, Doug has done a wonderful job, both Doug and Doug Less, um, making sure that, that things from materials to design, you know, this is, you know, compared to what we first saw, for example, you know, this has gone a long way to address everyone's concerns, and I think it's going to be a pretty long, and I'm actually going to be the single person closest to it. So. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We're fine going with the windows. We'll accept that without prejudice. I just, again, I wanted to make that point. If we can get the approvals now, if everything else is in order. We haven't heard from everyone. I think that the roof deck, as it's drawn and as the house looks today, is a significant improvement over where it started. I think it's an elegant solution. I think it's um, short-sighted to believe that the noise can be controlled from the outside of the house when the back of the house faces the club and there is a patio and there is the opportunity for people to enjoy that. Um, I don't think that the single level change is really going to have an impact on sound and sound traveling. Um, I have, would have no problem approving the house with the windows instead of the doors if that gets this project completed. Uh, yeah, um, similarly, I am somewhat curious. Uh, about how the difference in elevation really decreases the privacy. Um, just out of curiosity, the, the, the covenant was uh, to limit the elevated deck, which I, uh, uh, this gentleman was saying more, was more for visual or aesthetic purposes rather than privacy purposes. And, and what's the difference in privacy for those teeing off um, between a ground level terrace and this elevated deck. Are you familiar with the elevations there? No, then, yeah, make me familiar. Up 
I would be willing to, to vote for the, the terrorists or the deck. Uh, with the windows, I think that's a, a nice compromise. Um, visually, it's, it's attractive as is. Um, and if there is concern about the activity, then that would be a nice way to, to some degree, ensure that uh, you know, the, the types of activities that take place on that deck uh, are limited. Can you can you go to your um, uh, sky exposure plane yes. sheet, please? Exactly. I, I think there are some some permitted obstructions in the sky exposure plane, um, and, and overhang for a roof, right. a chimney, and, and so what, and you can't you can't pick it up. But in the right side elevation, uh, so this is at the back of the house. We are cutting through part of the house, not part, not only part of the roof and or chimney. Right. Here. And so I, I think we yeah, should sure. yeah. have an accurate. Diagram with the, your new measurements um, to see if that is in fact better or worse. Um, because as it is now, there, there isn't any reason that a new house on a on a decent it's piece 30, of land shouldn't conform in in all respects yeah, to the sky exposure plane. The, the tricky thing is the the drop off on the property. We have that extra height in the back, mm -hmm. um, but it is thirty. But I, I don't understand how you're going to fix it. I, well, I can change the slope of the roof slightly. Um, change, change the slope? Yeah. And let me just, just to understand. It's just the, so the gable would just get slightly shallower around the whole house. And that will bring the whole roof down. It'll up. bring the whole roof down. If you change the angle of the gable, it brings the top height down, which mm -hmm. brings this into line. So you, you see, you, the, the house down look, you, like, you like this, right? You do this, right? That puts this line here. No, I get it. Okay. That puts this line here. That puts this line here. So we're, you know, we're we're cutting through. In, ostensibly, you're cutting through just the the part that's overhanging, or just the exactly. minimal amount. Of, Any other comments from any neighbors? No? Yes.
prior to the meeting, I spoke to my engineer at his unit from his home. He, he was, I mean, Doug and I had spoken about it, Douglas and I had spoken about it last week. Um, Elliot was away in a few months. He's back now, and he assures me that there has to be something effective in the way it's run. So what I would ask the board to do is if we satisfy the needs and requirements of the code with the sky plan exposure, and it's just a, a slight error between Doug and Elliot, that you know would be accepted based on the way the drawing is. I mean, Doug needs to do something to address it that wasn't fixed with the numbers. I'm more than happy to let him do it. I'm also happy, like you said, to without prejudice, to set the windows in lieu of the um, sliding doors, and let's get this thing open. I think everybody in the community that lives on that side of the village would love to see it built during the winter. Um, you know, there are steps I have to take in order to be able to do that. One, you know, the longest one being, I guess, getting comment to disconnect the service because we don't have control over that. But, um, you know, still, while the weather's favorable for them, and we're probably going to have a light in the way it looks, so I would like to get started. That's all I would like to say. I don't have any issue with that. I, I <clears throat> my, my only, Douglas, my only concern is that is that you you come back, uh, your engineer comes back with uh, something that is unfortunate in terms of the calculation. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'll make this contingent on a certain amount of change, which I'll leave uh, uh, to, to us, so uh, to you. However, if, it, if, if we exceed if you're going to change dramatically the geometry of the house, then I'd like for you to come back here. So, so um, I'll, I'll, I'll make a motion to approve this as submitted with, the, uh, with, with two stipulations. The first, that the, uh, the French doors on the second floor of the right side elevation be changed to windows. Which, which windows? Type 7? No. I think to window type 7, which is your larger window that's on the front facade. Yeah. The, st the second stipulation is that this, this project meet the sky exposure plane uh, requirements. If you learn that there is a you are required to lower the house by more than 18 inches. I would like you to come back here and show it to us. Okay. Uh, if it's 18 inches or less, then uh, we can make that change and you can go ahead and uh, submit it to the building department without our review. Do I have a second? One, one second. One second. Why don't you check what, what type of windows would you like to s replace the uh, French French door? Yeah, I would like it to be two double hungs. Two double hungs, so, hung, the so, that's, that's so the same width, the same, same, width, same width. opening, two double hungs. Yeah, just a double hung, but the still the same. So, so similar to double. type 8. Yes. Two type 8. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll restate. First stipulation that uh, the right side elevation French doors be changed to two double hung, uh, two pair of double hung windows uh, in the same width uh, opening. I have a second. 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 Yeah, no second. It's unanimous. Okay, thank you. Good luck. Thanks, everyone. Forty-four Deerfoot Lane. Okay, it's better that way. Uh, <laughs> don't tell it. Don't tell Doug. We're proposing to extend our backyard existing deck ten feet out in the exact same materials, same color that we already have, as per the requirements of the Walter Lane. And really so these have been approved already by the board. Yeah, the HOA.
to approve this as submitted. Do I have a second? No. Any of your seconds? It's unanimous. Thanks. 40 Clinton, please. Any extra plans? You keep it that way so we have to. Yeah, so you. Um, it's yours too? Yeah, so we, we just gave you gave you the right to apply for permit. Okay. So now you, um, uh, with your permit paperwork and your you know your fee, you bring it to the building department. And we did that already. They did that already. Okay, so yeah. you. So, you so we just have to wait for them to do it. How long? How does that? Ed, I'm just going to send you an email. It'll probably take about two weeks as long as all the paperwork, all the insurance is from the contract right there. I guess I gave you something wrong. Right? Yeah, maybe you'll get a nice one. <laughs> That's it. Uh, 40 Clinton, please. set way back, over 100 feet back from Clinton, because it used to be the, um, what can I say, the barn for the Romano's house next door. Uh, next door to that is the uh, women's club. Uh, sometime down the line, I think it was in 2000, uh, the village approved the uh, building of a garage here in front of my house. And what I proposed to do is to replace a damaged, very damaged, much damaged fence that goes up to the front of the house, I would like to run it all the way up to behind the garage in order to gain some privacy for the patio here. Uh, so, so the ZBA gave me two variances last week. One, to allow me to go between the front of the house and the back of the garage with a six foot high <coughs> uh, stockade fence. And then uh, it was felt that the front, uh, the front section here should be a know, type, type one aluminum fence. Looks like this, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and for the rest of it, there is going to be a, would be a four foot fence right behind the hedge, over here under the trees, and alongside the driveway by another hedge. So I think that's within the, within the code. So those are the two variances. This would be a six foot high type one aluminum, and this they would allowed me to go to behind the garage. And then drop down to four from the uh, front of the garage to Clinton. All the way, all okay. the way back here, like that. I think that, that I mean, the, the hiccup last time was that you I were going six foot all the way around. Six all around, that's what I didn't understand, because okay. I didn't read the code. <laughs> and the little piece that goes to the garage, that's also the four foot fence, that with the gate? No. Yes. Or is that six? No, this is six. That piece, okay. Yeah. Well, that's it. Here, it's a, here, here you've got 42, but you, here you're doing it. So this, this is the one that's going here. Yes. Okay. One of the, uh, so this one is really, a, this is a one of the 72. One the committee thought that was more aesthetic since the rest of it was going to be that, that kind of fence. I'm sorry, I almost interrupted you. Th this dimension says 48. Should be four. Should be four feet. On the uh, on, on these uh, re on these revised drawings, it says four feet all around. Mm -hmm. Two copies for this. But this little mm -hmm. piece is the six. This six. That piece is six. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. In any event, as you know, you can't see any of this from the, uh, from the front street. <laughs> yeah. Those are big trees over here. Over here on this part. Okay. This is the uh, masonry house, the, the, the red, uh, red colored masonry. Is it for My house? Yeah, your house is the. Uh, it's the front of a stucco with some clapboard up in the gables. Uh, and this part around here, the original stable, is all masonry. You can see it from the co ops most clearly. Okay. Well, 
colleagues. Pretty straightforward. Yep. Thanks for coming back. No, no, my pleasure. I learned a lot. I have to be prepared. <laughs> I was swayed by uh, all, the, all the six and a half foot feet, six and a half foot fences I saw. Motion. Um, CBA told me to bring two copies of, of the full up drawing. Of what? This is this is that picture that you've got. I'm eliminating this. Okay. And I'm making it uh and they wanted it, so I've got it. <laughs> this is the one I was saying. Now do I have to get a, a get some kind of a building permit or permit permit? You do. I I I'm gonna make a motion we approve this as submitted. Second. We have a second. It's unanimous. So now uh, you'll get a notification from Ed Manley, and then you can come pick up the permit and get started. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 83 Stanley Avenue. <coughs> So it's, it's uh, basically it's going to be uh, channel letters and a logo box uh, mounted on the packer panel, a wire with packer panel. Um, you know, so uh, just regular uh, standard front of the channel letters and uh, with the uh, printed vinyl over the front to give the letters that uh, look. And then uh, also uh, an oval shaped logo box with. Second series of letters, it's going to say Brooklyn Market uh, over the overhang in the, in the parking area, um, over, the, over the doors to, to the uh, market in, in the parking, parking area. So they're not necessarily visible from the song, the other one would be, but uh, these would be only visible inside the, the parking area. And those letters, uh, So the sign is still 47 feet. The, the, the revised sketch you just gave us has, the, has a 47 foot overall dimension. That is correct. So 47 feet, the back of the panel will be 47 feet by two and a half feet, which gives it about 117 square feet total, um, you know, which falls within the Are either either of these entrances 
This is uh, sorry. This was this was the um, this was going to be Mrs. Green's market. Is that am I, is that the, what I'm looking at? Yes. That's, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. What yeah, yeah. This is a grocery store. Correct. Yeah. Okay. There's no entrance. There. So there's no entrance. Yeah, no, no, no. So the, so right just to the left there is a is where you drive it. Yeah. There's a photo. There we go. Which gives kind of a longer. Yes. It's, it's, it's a pretty wide space. So there's Three opening. You have a three bay opening. Three bay. Three and three under, and that's one. Yeah. And the sign is going to be centered over these two windows, similar Good. to this picture, just Correct. at 47 so as, feet. As, as you're looking at those three Instead of 51, three. arched windows, it would be the ones, the, the two windows closest to the. Yeah, I mean, it's a little, it's a little odd. Is the third window really yours also? Just when you look at the whole, the whole thing as an yeah, ensemble. It, I, I, I personally have a problem with the location. I don't have yeah. a problem with it typeface or a logo or mm -hmm. anything like that. But uh, the location of the sign seems ar arbitrary to the to the to the architecture. Okay. It kind of doesn't work very well. I mean uh, uh, I think that that's that might be a solution. There are three very equal bays mm -hmm. and I'm just wondering why what the dimension is between first bay and third bay and whether that could just span between the two so it actually looks like it's somehow yeah. held over the yeah. top, centered on an opening. Yeah, because right now you've got this thing, I mean, where it is now. It's, it's yeah, closer it's, to the... It's or, to, or, or... That would be very nice. Yeah, or divide it, uh, like, just put Brooklyn, the mark, market, two independent. I like the... I, I got it. I got it. Three bays give you a sense of frontage. Yeah. And, and combining that with it, I think that is... That yeah. would be really good. Maybe this is... Okay. And, and I don't know what that length is, but if, if you just centered your 47 well, feet between I mean, you're going to have, that's the thing, you're going to have close right. to this 36, I mean, you're not going to have all this yeah. extra, but this doesn't, this isn't that working for you. That doesn't give you not this extra, this extra 11 feet or 10 foot and change of, you know, no, this I business, yeah, yeah, I mean, that, that, that's not performing for you. And I, I so I don't know. I, I think the only thing, the only thing I see is that also the, uh, these, uh, this the, logo lo box. the logo, the logo box. You may, maybe you can independently put on one, one on each side. Just concentrate on the Brooklyn Market and put the two logos instead of one on, on each side. Yeah, again, not, not a great idea. Yeah. So you have this sort of thing. Yeah. Centering them above the arches. That's, that's kind of cool. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. It so makes those awful arches look almost like yeah, the purpose of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That'd That's be what you're saying. Like, you do one center and then yeah. two. So yeah. you, you cut this guy off. Yeah. And you just Why take not? that. Take one, and then you do another. And yeah. this one goes set in the middle arch. Yeah, no, that, that, that makes shape. sense to me. Now, what was the second? The final? Yeah. Well, um, inside. Inside, if you in, underneath the parking overhang, uh -huh. where the actual entrance yeah. to the store is, they, they want to put some channel ladders over that door. Okay, you don't have a picture of that, or uh, do we have a I, sketch? I do. It's in, probably underneath. It's not going to have a backer panel, it's just individual. It's within the garage. It's inside the garage. Yeah. That's, that's how And then the last element is... Uh, they, have, they have two pylon signs, the, the, the main one to the entrance, and then there's one that sits on an upper parking deck, and they just want to put their you know, nail on the panel. Yeah.
we submit, right? No. That's in essence. Yeah, there's a there's a the, the, says a lot of stuff. One, we're I think you need to show us the side on here. Oh, super. Okay. And then you know this. If you could just give us one overall. Okay. Yeah. Just we don't need. Just give us one overall with this with that photoshopped yeah. on the way. Yeah, but the, the, remember the proportions might change a little bit. Yes. If we go from blue yeah. mark and that might shrink. Or yeah, yeah. You can play with it. Okay. Just to get this yeah, make it proper. Right. Show all three of the arches. Yeah. Yep. You might not need to come back, right? as long as works with code and approval and documentation. I think it's worth you coming back. <laughs> Just okay. you can submit it, and we can we can uh, go through it in your absence. But if we have questions and you're not here to answer them, you'll just get put off again. So come back next time with the revised. How long is the material too? Yeah, bring us a little um, sample of color. Thank you. And include the interior inside the garage sign. Yeah. So we approve everything at the same time. Motion to continue this. So the next, yeah, your seconds. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have meeting minutes from Monday, September 25th. Monday's redundant and October 23rd. Um, last page, there's an error. I was not there. If he was. Okay. This is um, for the 23rd? Yeah. So you are on the. Mm. No, no, we're talking about 25th. 20, right? September 23rd. Oh, it doesn't say that you were. I don't think they're mixed together. Oh, you were absent? No, here I see one. Oh, okay, that's fine. You may have to come. I was absent. absent. Re no, no, no. Uh, you arrived at 8 10. Okay. Yeah, you were just a little late on that. Did you go absent? That's it. It's fine. Yeah. All right. I would say on the second page, where, you, where it reads, Mr. Patino said, he would like to continue his application for the next hearing. Then Mr. Pa Mr. Patino said, like, uh, what you call it, said, with just a quote, quote marks, the last preventive question is the one, right? Mm -hmm. And I would add this one of the windows side lights on the one, on, you know, is the one of the windows side lights on the side lights. Just quotation marks. You did vote. I did vote. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Sign. I, I have not. Uh, I don't know if this is a quotation or not. But this says, you know, the way we read, it says, Mr. Patino said the last remaining question is that you're talking. So we want the address of the Yeah, because I'd have to check the tape to see if that's right. Okay. I can't bear to watch myself. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I won't do that. Maybe we can just let's change that. Uh, thank you, Mr. Snyder.
Um, maybe, maybe, maybe you'd like to do the minutes. Replace it before you indicate. Yeah, this is replace said with indicated and side light is uh, is uh, L I T E. It's a, wi a window side light, uh, not a not a illuminated light. Um, so let's uh, just call that um, uh, window side light L I T E. And side light against side lights, right? And the four window bays. <laughs> well, it's just not as submitted. I think we should just take that out. Yeah. Because you know, it was submitted mm -hmm. differently. For restoration of windows. With the addition of the margins and side lights. We um, also change in, in on page two uh, the second application. Um, uh, the applicant is not Kevin and Mary Lockhart. You've pointed that out a couple of times. We could just take take his name off of that as the uh, the applicant. So who's the applicant? Uh, is it uh, Mr. Austrian or is it a? Yeah, Doug owns the property now. All right. What? Let's put his. Either let's just take out Kevin and Mary Lockhart, who aren't the applicants. Which yeah. yeah. So you can say Doug, you know, Douglas McLean yeah. for the applicant. Yeah. Was uh, the uh, historic district an application? No. No, right? No. So number three is not an application. It's uh, information session for historic district. Page three. The board will get together and discuss the comments. Page two or five, application three. This is for the historic district. Well, yeah, we we have to provide a recommendation. So we have to. We will get together and discuss. No. The, the board will make a recommendation to what exists. Yeah, the board doesn't get together. Right. And it's not an application. This, this was an application? No. Uh, it was simply a presentation. It was a presentation on both, on both lines. Um, Ms. Sonia Eugenian was present to present. Motion to continue this uh, to the next. Uh, did, you, did you get those?
Well, if you're if you're part of the meeting, then. Um, in June 2016, the board of trustees referred a matter to this board. Um, this board considered that at several meetings between then and September. In September, I think you concluded the matter and you were going to issue findings or some recommendations to the president. This is on 100 days. Uh, that will be issued to the board of trustees this week. Thank you for coming. Apologize for the delay. No, we will apologize. I know it takes time, but I appreciate it. Thank you. to adjourn tonight's meeting.